guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Forging Friday video, I will be reviewing this bird toy here. So this is a drawer bird toy, and it's kind of like my other one that I showed you, except that this one is cage mounted, and all the drawers open in different ways. And that's probably the coolest part because, well, the rats can't just open every single drawer the same way. They have to really think about how it works. For example, this one right here, as you can see, it just opens by being pushed up. Uh, this one right here needs to be slid out. This one right here opens by being uh, pushed up too. And finally, this one opens by sliding. So each of these drawers has a different way to open. Each of them requires the rats to try something different. And the other cool thing about this toy is that it rotates. So for example, if I were to close it, I can now mix it up and the rats have to figure out well, how does this toy open now? How does this part open? And all of that is really cool. It makes it a lot more reusable than the other toy, which just hung there and, you know, they just had to open it one way. Now, like the other drawer toy, this toy does not close on its own. However, that's not as big of an issue just because of how it, well, how it works. And also the fact that it is mounted makes it a little bit nicer because sometimes when the rats are climbing on it, they will accidentally close a drawer, which is pretty funny. This is just a really cool toy in general. Uh, as you can see, it attaches in my favorite way. <laughs> and there you go, Bean. But yeah, it attaches in my favorite way, which is via one of these screw-on pieces, except that unlike some of the toys which require, you know, several of these, this just has one big piece in the middle that screws on. And I really like when toys are like that. I just find them more stable, more easy to put on, and, and just in general, it makes it a lot more viable to use. I can just pop it in the cage, I can take it out. It's not a huge issue to refill it or put it in the cage, and that's just a really nice thing. Now, in terms of cleaning and refilling, this toy is really good in those regards as well. Uh, I mean, it's pretty clear how it all works. You just have to open up the drawers and then clean it, or open up the drawers and refill it. So there's not too much, <laughs> here we have a typical bean and coconut slap flight going on, uh, but yeah, there's not too much to uh, contend with when it comes to cleaning or refilling. And overall, those are really important aspects when it comes to a forging toy, so this here is one of the ones I use fairly often just because it's so easy to switch in and out, and I don't have to worry about refilling it, cleaning it, putting it in the cage. All those things only take a few seconds, so really nice. But anyways, this is just a really cool toy, really fun. Uh, I got it a few months ago, so it is one of my more recent forging toys, but it's gotten a lot of use, and I consider it one of the more fun forging toys that the rats have, just because it has so many different uses, so many different ways for them to play with it. It's just a great toy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!